Well, the budget for the year 2022-23 came on the first of this month and brought a big buzz around the crypto world in India. The finance minister Nirmala Sitaraman announced a 30% tax to be imposed on virtual digital assets, that is cryptocurrency. However, India will be soon having its own digital currency any time this year. So there are some questions arises in every investor's mind that how the taxation will work and how will it change the crypto world of India. Let's get the answers from Mr. Sridhar Srinivasa, the CTO co-founder of Odds Finance, a decentralized trading platform for cryptocurrency. Welcome, Mr. Sridhar. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Hey, Bhumika. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me here. Uh, really excited to uh, excited for this session. Uh, I would like to ask you a first question that would be in terms of general population, how much the emerging cryptocurrencies have changed the Indian investment pattern? Sure. You know, like, uh, see, if, if you if you look at the, you know, like uh, the age, age pattern of the people who are into cryptocurrency, uh, I think they are, you know, they are more tech savvy people and then the more, more younger generation are into this space, right? Uh, so, you know, like uh, if you look at the last few years, uh, I think uh, you know nearly 7.8 to 8 percent of the overall population is into uh, cryptocurrency investments in uh, India, and uh, you know like uh, you know we are still early into this space. Uh, more and more tech people moving, you know, transitioning from traditional space to blockchain space. Uh, more and more well-versed applications being developed that will definitely bring more investors into this space. And uh, really excited for uh, for the future of uh, you know like uh, blockchain technologies and cryptocurrencies in India. The government has just gave a recognition to digital assets. However, there is still no clarity on its legality. So, what you have to say on this? See, I mean, I think uh, that there, there is a, there is a misconception uh, regarding you know like government considering uh, cryptocurrencies as a legal tender versus you know like uh, letting people to you know go ahead with their investments and. Uh, you know, like uh, ensuring they do pay the taxes for whatever the capital gains they get, right? Uh, so, you know, like, uh, of course, cryptocurrencies are not legal tenders yet. Uh, whereas, you know, you cannot buy any goods uh, like you do with the, uh, you know, INR or US dollars or any other any other currencies, right? Uh, so, similarly, you know, government is at the same time not banning or not disallowing people to uh, invest on cryptocurrencies. This is the important point that everybody should be aware of. Okay, as we know that digital assets are under the highest tax bracket of budget 2022. Do you also think it's too high for the stakeholders that as the stakeholders are running petitions to reduce it? I guess, you know, like it, it totally depends on, you know, like uh, what kind of, uh, you know, like uh, uh, people and uh, what kind of profits they made, right? Uh, so, for example, you know, like uh, people who started with very small amounts uh, and, you know, like uh, there are people who were very, very early from uh 2000 you know like 15s 2017s and then uh they might have made a lot of profits uh, but in my personal opinion i think 30 percent is too high uh but I, again as i said earlier uh there is always a possibility of amendments and uh, more people actually kind of raising the voices regarding the uh 30 percent slab will definitely kind of uh help us to you know like uh, go, you know help us the government to you know reconsider the tax labs and hopefully we are all hopeful of you know like getting a little bit of a friendly uh, tax labs, uh, which is quite when, similar to the stock. Yeah, capital when we're talking gain. about the tax and the tax labs, could you please explain a little how taxation will be implemented? Will it be levied on the gains or the entire transfer? Or can it be set off or compensated against other assets? As far as my understanding goes, uh, I think it's, it's totally uh, depending on the capital gains that you get, like, you know, uh, whatever the, you know, like, uh, uh, cryptocurrency into INR exchange that you do and uh, you know, the conversion, the conversion that you do and uh, whatever the capital gains that you will be withdrawing into your bank, uh, the 30% of uh, tax lab would be applied on that capital gains. Uh, I think, you know, like uh, as far uh, as my understanding goes, I think, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, like you, you cannot claim against the losses that you got uh, incurred through other other assets. So, you know, like government is like, you, you make money, you pay the tax, uh, you lose money, uh, we don't care. Uh, but in, in, in other, other, other uh, you know, like assets, 
if you see on you know on stock you know like on stock market if you make some losses or if you get you know, if you make some profits you can actually kind of uh, claim against the losses that you incur uh, on the other other uh, you know asset classes right from when the investors need to pay the tax on crypto will it, will it apply to the assets purchased prior to that date or that period when the taxation will be implied i think you know like uh, from the day you withdraw uh, you know like uh, until the you know like a uh, tax filing that you do for a financial year right for example you know like uh, in this financial year if you are making any such transactions uh, you would have some time until next uh, you know like a uh, tax uh, you know like a uh, financial year right so before that you, you are uh, you are welcome to pay advance taxes as well as you know like uh, you can wait until the you know like uh, you know end of the say, you know financial year and you can you can file for all all the capital gains that you made in one go also how will investors particularly young crypto enthusiasts interpret of this tax tax system or this tax change i think in my opinion it it goes uh, by the returns that you make you know like uh, so there there are you know like uh, you know you, you can you can find uh, you know like uh, all the kind of people right so there are people who think that you know like uh, you need to look at it as an opportunity and if if you want to you know if you can earn 1 lakh with this investment uh, paying 30000 as a tax is is a, is a, is a matter of uh, you know like uh, you just have to consider that you made only 70000 as a profit right and there are other people who think that 30000 is a bigger amount and uh, they might as well stay away from this this kind of investments So, how do you see the future of virtual economy in India with the digital rupee and digital tax? Also, what additional measures are still required? Okay, so you know, like uh, as I said, right? Like uh, we need more uh, tech people actually kind of moving uh, or you know transitioning from uh, you know traditional space into the blockchain space. and uh, this space is uh, as big as the traditional space and uh, you know like uh, the more uh, fin- finance uh, experts coming into this space uh, it'll only you know like uh, bring in more more uh, well matured well oiled uh, products and uh, that would actually kind of reduce uh, some of the exploits uh, that 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 are going around in the in the blockchain space so the moment uh these exploits and uh, these scams goes away and people who are in for the quick money uh you know as, as long as they 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 go out of this space uh they, they you know there would be a scope for more people to build more products and uh, that's where uh, you know it can attract more uh, people into this space i guess you know i'm all excited for for the you know especially with indian government recognizing uh, blockchain technology as a emerging technology thank you so much mr shridhar for interacting with us it was great having you thank you bhumika it was really great uh, i mean like it, it was a really you know like a very insight you know like insightful uh, you know interview uh, thanks for having me here